Have you ever received an apology that didn't feel sincere? It's a strange and unsettling experience, isn't it? You're left with a lingering sense of unease, as if something isn't quite right. This is often the case when dealing with those who struggle to express genuine remorse, such as narcissists. Narcissists are known for their skill in manipulation, and one of their favorite tools in their toolbox is the insincere apology. They may use phrases that resemble apologies, but these are often just smoke and mirrors designed to serve their own manipulative purposes. They cleverly twist words and intentions, leaving you feeling like you've received an apology, but without the sincerity that should accompany it. It's an illusion, a mirage in the desert of genuine human connection. Today, we're going to talk about 10 phrases a narcissist might use that don't necessarily reflect a genuine apology. Scene script, understanding these phrases can help you navigate complex emotional dynamics. Let's dive into the 10 examples of phrases a narcissist might use, which often serve manipulative purposes rather than expressing true regret. First up is, I'm sorry you feel that way, but this phrase is a classic deflection tactic. The narcissist attempts to shift the blame onto you for how you perceive their actions. It's an apology that isn't really an apology. Instead, it's an attempt to make you question your own feelings or reactions. Next is, if I did anything wrong, it was unintentional. This phrase minimizes their responsibility and avoids admitting fault. It's a way for the narcissist to say, I didn't mean to hurt you, so it doesn't count, which of course it does. Then we have, you're overreacting, it wasn't a big deal. This statement invalidates your feelings and dismisses the impact of their actions. It's a way to belittle your feelings and make you feel like you're the one in the wrong for being upset. Everyone makes mistakes, get over it. This phrase trivializes their actions and avoids taking accountability. The narcissist uses this to say, I'm human, I'm allowed to mess up. But in doing so, they neglect to acknowledge the hurt they've caused. Another common phrase is, I only did it because you. Here, the narcissist shifts blame onto you for provoking their behavior. This is a classic manipulation tactic, making you feel guilty for their actions. Fine, I apologize, but you owe me one too. This makes the apology conditional and seeks something in return. It's not about acknowledging their mistakes or expressing regret, it's about evening the score. Look what you made me do. This statement victimizes the narcissist and absolves them of responsibility. It's another way for them to shift the blame onto you, making you feel guilty for their actions. I'm the one who's really suffering here. This phrase manipulates sympathy and deflects attention from your hurt. The narcissist uses this to play the victim and make you feel like they're the ones who need comforting. You wouldn't understand, it's too complicated. This creates a power dynamic and avoids explaining their actions. It's a way for the narcissist to maintain control and keep you in the dark. Lastly, this apology is for your sake, not because I think I did anything wrong. This statement undermines the entire apology and emphasizes their lack of remorse. It's a clear sign that the narcissist doesn't see their actions as wrong and is only apologizing to appease you. These phrases often serve to shift blame, minimize responsibility, invalidate feelings, trivialize actions, and manipulate sympathy. They are tools used by narcissists to maintain control and avoid accountability. Recognizing these phrases is the first step toward understanding the dynamics at play and protecting yourself from emotional manipulation. Remember, a genuine apology acknowledges the hurt caused, takes responsibility for the actions, and expresses a genuine desire to repair the damage. If someone uses these manipulative phrases when apologizing, it's essential to approach with caution and prioritize your own well-being. Professional guidance can be invaluable in navigating these complex dynamics, so don't hesitate to seek help if you find yourself dealing with these situations. Remember, understanding these phrases isn't about labeling or diagnosing others, it's about empowering yourself to navigate complex emotional dynamics and protect your well-being. So, stay informed, stay strong, and always prioritize your emotional health. So what does a genuine apology look like? Well, it's quite simple really, but it's powerful. A genuine apology goes beyond the mere utterance of the words I'm sorry. It involves three key elements, acknowledgement, responsibility, and a desire to make things right. 
First, a true apology acknowledges the hurt caused. It doesn't dismiss or trivialize the feelings of the person who was hurt. It says, I see that my actions have caused you pain, and I validate your feelings. Second, it takes responsibility for those actions. It doesn't shift the blame or make excuses. It says, I did this. It was my fault. Finally, a genuine apology expresses a sincere desire to repair the damage. It's not about getting off the hook or manipulating the situation to one's advantage. It's about saying, I want to make things right. I want to mend the damage I've caused. A genuine apology is about more than just saying, I'm sorry. It's about understanding and acknowledging the impact of one's actions. Recognizing these manipulative phrases is the first step towards protecting yourself. It's not just about spotting the red flags, it's about putting yourself first. In dealing with narcissists, one must remember that their well-being is paramount. It's important to not let their manipulative tactics weigh heavy on your heart. Mental and emotional well-being are the cornerstones of a healthy life. When these are compromised, it's time to draw a line. This might mean taking a step back from the relationship or setting boundaries to protect yourself. But remember, it's not a journey you have to take alone. Professional guidance can be an invaluable resource in these situations. Therapists and psychologists are trained to help you navigate through these complex dynamics. They can provide you with tools and strategies to deal with emotional manipulation, aiding you in maintaining your well-being. Remember, it's crucial to be cautious, prioritize your own well-being, and consider seeking professional guidance when dealing with these complex dynamics.